Drizzy Squad. Drizzy Squad, what's going on? It's your boy Drizzy coming to you with a brand new video now. It's been like two months or something since I've actually uploaded a video and I don't really have a reason behind it other than I just really haven't been feeling it or I really haven't had any video ideas I guess you'd say. But however, one question that I've been getting asked a lot is, you know, how's college, you liking it, things like that. So I figured, why not make a video talking about it, alright? So, here in this video, I'm going to be asking the question, you know, is college good or is college bad? I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. College is absolutely freaking amazing, okay? College is so much better than high school. For those of you in high school right now that watch my videos, you just wait till college. It gets so much better. I absolutely love it. It is so much fun. And with all that stuff being said, I figured why not share some of the stories of things that I've seen or been involved in at the college I go to. I'm not going to say what college I go to just because who knows what could happen. But let's put it this way, going to college every day, Monday through Friday, is kind of like attending a circus show in a way. You know, each day something new that you're going to absolutely love seeing. So I mean, without further ado, let's hop straight into this video, shall we? Okay, so the first story here is very first day of school, you know, I'm new to it, never been to college before. End up being late to class by like 20 minutes because we're sitting in the wrong classroom, me and like 15 other people. And uh, we ended up getting into a class with like 30 people and like I said, I was 20 minutes late, okay? And you know, I find a seat, I sit down, there's, a, there's an open spot right in front of me, there's a guy sitting next to that open spot and it's a shorter teacher. She's standing up at the podium doing her thing, you know, and... A girl walks in. It almost looks as if she took a watermelon, shaved the sides, and stuck it on her head. It, it's, it was a red afro, okay? Now, I don't have anything against afros, okay? So don't be doing all that weird stuff down in the comments. But she comes and sits down right in front of me. Now I can't see, okay? That's the first part. Is The teacher's literally invisible to me. And then next to her, this guy reaches behind his neck and I'm not talking like, you know, like a little soft reach. I'm talking freaking veins in his arms are bulging. And he pops a pimple. And I'm not talking just a little tiny pimple here. I'm talking this puppy's been growing for quite some time now. And he just pops it in the middle of class. And I'm going, what in the hell? Luckily, the bell rang like five minutes after because I thought I was going to be sick. One of the grossest things I've ever seen in the classroom. Now, with that being said, the second day of school... Another kid did the exact same thing, and I'm going, what in the hell is going on? Something's not right here, okay? Now, there's, in my biology class, another big class, you know, we're just chilling, there's like 10 minutes before class starts, and this girl walks in, okay? And this girl, oh, this girl walks in, and she has, like, she has her purse, she has her backpack, and then she has a Rubbermaid container. Now. She sits down, she puts the Rubbermaid container on her desk, and inside of this Rubbermaid container is at least 100 candy canes. Let me remind you, it's basically the fall now. What are you doing with candy canes? That, that's my question. Let alone a freaking Rubbermaid container. I'm not talking, you know, just a little tiny thing. I'm talking this puppy's big, full of candy canes. She went through like three or four in that class period, and you know, I was thinking, oh, you know, maybe she's gonna like share with everyone, you know? Just like, get to know everyone, you know, like passing out candy canes. Nope. Just sat him out on the desk and was munching on them. She wasn't even sucking on them. She was eating them. I can't do that, by the way. It gets stuck in my teeth. Not a fan. And she did that for a couple more days. And then eventually she quit bringing it. So I don't know what happened there, but I'm kind of missing it now, okay? Now, in that same exact class, one of the coolest professors ever, there was one time we showed up to class, you know, we were talking, you know, biology stuff for like the first five minutes of class, and somehow we got onto the topic of Naked and Afraid, the TV show that I've never seen, but now I feel like I have seen it because the rest of the 50 minute class period, we talked about Naked and Afraid. Somehow it turned into a science experiment in our class, you know, doing Naked and Afraid and then going to like a mall and stuff, getting phone numbers, stuff like that, and then like seeing how many you could get kind of like competition and then going and like showering you know cleaning yourself up and then seeing how many you could do i don't know how we got onto that topic i'm gonna be completely honest but yeah we spent a whole class period talking about a show naked and afraid the next the next couple stories here you know tattoos tattoos i'm fine with them as long as they have like a meaning behind it or 
you know, it means something to you. However, there was this one instance I'm walking from building to building, and you know, I saw this girl walk in, and I was like, oh, you know, she's not bad looking, you know, da 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 da. She turns, and on her thigh, I shit you not when I say this, on her thigh, she has a tattoo of Tigger and Winnie the Pooh hugging, and below it, it says love. You know, people nowadays amaze me. Now, that's gonna be on your body the rest of the life. I hope, like, you know that when you get a tattoo. Like, it's going to be on your body the rest of your life unless you have it removed or, like, covered up with something. But I'm going, really? Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, hugging each other, love? Nice one, I, I like it. And then just the other day, I was walking down the hallway and there was an older girl, probably like 40 years old, and she had, you know, I saw it from a distance and I was thinking like, it was like a peacock or you know, something like that. Cause it was like all the way across like her upper breast. And like, I knew they were wings of something, but I didn't know what it was when I got closer. It was a freaking hummingbird across her whole chest. And then like down her arms were like tree branches and shit. Why? What? Yeah, I get it, you, you love birds. Look at it through your binoculars or whatever. You don't need to get it on your body. I mean, good grief. And then, you know, this last story I'm gonna tell actually happened Friday. And for those of you who know me pretty well, you know that I, got, I like to have fun. I, I don't really care what others think of me too much. <laughs> and some things I say is just like, like I don't think before I speak, I guess you'd say. So, Sin in class, the teacher says, you need to partner up. So, I look to the guy to my right and I was like, yo, partners? And he's like, yep, sure. And then he goes, how you doing? I go, what's good? And the, the teacher comes over and she gets like right next to us and she goes, you can't be with him. You sit by him, you talk to him all the time. I was like, okay, okay. And you know, I should have said, you know, like, I've never said a word to this guy in my life. Um, I just sit here because it's an open spot, you know. That's the first thing. Next thing, she she goes, okay, you got 10 seconds now, and I'm looking around, I'm like, yo, am I like the only one without a partner? There's a girl in the front that doesn't have a partner that I eventually partnered up with, but she goes, you got 10 seconds, Andrew, you got 10 seconds. Now I feel targeted, okay? Because now I'm like, why are you singling me out? Everyone else is still standing here. Because she's like, yeah, you sit down and stuff, and I'm like, all right, you like, like, I don't know what happened, why, why you're so cranky or whatever. So eventually I sit down by this girl. Never talked to her before, but it's whatever. And uh, she goes, okay, you gotta, you gotta come up with 10 different topics, stuff like that. And I, I, we're talk, I'm talking to this girl and she's talking back and she comes over and she gets right in my face and she goes, you guys know you can talk to each other, right? And I was like, we were talking until you interrupted us. And at that point in time, I go, oh shit, what did I just do? Like, I already knew she was pissed at me for who knows what reason what I did. And then I instantly go, you know, there's two there's two things I could do. I can get my bag quick, get the hell out of there, or I can just sit there with a blank face. I did option number two. I, I literally sat there like this when she was talking. I was like, like that. She eventually got up and walked away. And I was like, yo, what? And... Then, later in that class, she goes, out of everyone in the room, she, she points at me again and she goes, abortion. And I was like, what? And she goes, G give me one of the things, like pro-life or, and I was like, pro-life. And she goes, what? And I was like, what do you want me to say? Now I'm furious, okay? I, I sat back like this and I, I just stared at her. I was like, forget this, I'm done. I don't care anymore. So who knows how that class is gonna go Monday because I felt targeted, I don't know what I did. I don't have a clue what I did that made her so mad at me. But yes, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, talking about college and you know, is it good or bad? I love it, it's absolutely amazing. I love getting out there, meeting new people. I don't care who you are, a guy or a girl. Don't care what you look like, I'm gonna, I'll be friendly and talk to you. I will tell you this though, I do go to a college here in Iowa. So if you, down in the comments below, if you go to like Iowa, Iowa State, um, 
you and I or Hawkeye or Warburg, wherever, comment down below because I like seeing locals on the channel, okay? And yeah, so for those of you in high school, you just wait till you get up to college. Completely different experience. You're going to absolutely love it. And yes, that is that. So if you're not a part of the Dree Squad already, be sure to go down and click that big red subscribe button. I'm like nine away from 800. If we can get up to 800, it'd mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for that. With all of that stuff being said, I think I'm going to start doing every other day uploads. Again, very busy with college in terms of like homework. And then I've just started in the gym the last two weeks with Sam Hansen. He's been getting me bigger. Um, so, you know, I, I might actually film a video with him in the gym sometime. And then with eSports at my college too, I'm on the eSports team. We have, we have two games this week, so that'll be interesting. And yeah, that is that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to drop a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below if you go to a college here in Iowa because I love seeing locals. And yeah, it's been your boy Dreezy. It's glad to be back. It's been two months. I'll see you guys later.